What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining me today on another episode on this channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also ding the bell for notifications so you'll know when I put out future videos. In today's episode, it is time to talk Star Wars. More specifically, Benioff and White's Star Wars trilogy. This has not been a good couple of months for the Game of Thrones creators. They have fallen. How have the mighty fallen? They went from the saviors, the best stories telling people of all time in a TV show, and now they are pretty much regarded as bums. There's actually now a petition, not the same one to remake Game of Thrones, there is a petition to have Benioff and Weiss removed from Star Wars. I didn't see this um, before. I just found out about it today. And uh, it says here at the top, keep Game of Thrones writers away from Star Wars. <laughs> and I got to say this about uh, Lucasfilm. Maybe they have bad luck to a certain extent. And I say that because The Last Jedi happened and it was an absolute disaster. And then they hired Benioff and Weiss, and we're all rejoicing and saying, all right, the Game of Thrones guys, they created Game of Thrones. It's so good. They can do this with Star Wars. And then season eight of Game of Thrones happened, and it was a travesty. It was an absolute disaster. It was horrible. But <laughs> this is a little bit of what uh, this petition says. It says, putting the Game of Thrones writers David Benioff and D.B. Weiss in charge of Star Wars is not only a controversial decision, but a mistake, plain and simple. This whole season of the HBO show, which wraps up next week, so you can see this is already in the past, we didn't know this, has tested fans with unpopular, illogical, immersion-breaking plot twists and character developments. Seeing how these writers handle the most popular TV show, of a generation and seeing how the fans are reacting to it should not be rewarded with giving them the most popular movie franchise in the world. It is in the company's best interest to remove David Benioff and D.B. Weiss as writers on their upcoming film. The writers have a crutch for plot devices and rush stories with emphasis on shock and awe storytelling and eager to leave projects half finished when they have other projects on the horizon. The respect of lore alone does not make them fit for this project. Now, they're saying this because a lot of people believe that season eight of Game of Thrones was cut down to six episodes and was very, very rushed because these guys were ready to go over to Star Wars. So that's why they're saying that they left this project unfinished. And boy, this position makes a good case. It's, it's pretty underwhelming for David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. This season was just a disaster of Game of Thrones. And I do have my concerns now about them coming over to Star Wars. Are they still a better fit than Ryan Johnson? Yes, I do believe they're still a better fit. But the fan base of Game of Thrones has turned on them. The Star Wars fans have turned on them easily. I think a lot of Star Wars fans were very, very eager to see them come over and write the ship of Star Wars because a lot of people aren't happy with what Disney is doing. So this just leads me to believe now that Star Wars fans are going to question Disney even more in their hiring decisions. You know, uh, Ron Johnson is supposed to have a trilogy, even though Disney hasn't confirmed or denied it yet. So it's not looking good. But it continues on here. It says... It is in the company's best interest to move David Minioff and D.B. Weiss as writers on their upcoming film. Oh, I've already read that part right there. Um, talking about the half-finished part. But it says here, the latest episode of Game of Thrones got positive reviews from a record low 46% of critics, according to aggregator Rotten Tomatoes. In fact, every episode this season has received worse reviews than the one before it. This will happen with every installment of Star Wars that they touch. Save the franchise from completely being ruined, please. Well, it may already be completely ruined with 
Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi. Um, it goes on here. I've seen a petition called Remake Game of Thrones Season 8 with competent writers going viral on the internet, but you should know that's not a possibility. What is a possibility is stopping a great franchise from being buried by those same writers who caused the first petition to go viral. There are plenty of talented writers and producers loyal to the franchise that would make much better Star Wars, make much better work in the Star Wars universe. Wow, I wish I would have known about this uh, petition uh, earlier, but apparently it's just getting out today. And right now this petition has 12,839 people that have signed it. And it says, let's get to 15,000. You can tell that um, the fan base of Star Wars, if, I guess if they thought that the the Game of Thrones fan base was hard on them for season eight, they haven't seen nothing yet. If they come over here and wet the bed on Star Wars, Star Wars fans will let you know very, very quickly and they will turn on you very fast if you put out garbage. Ask Ron Johnson, even though Lucasfilm refuses to believe that the Last Jedi is a bad movie. They just look at the numbers. They made money on it, but they won't even acknowledge that 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 film is very divisive, to say the least. So, what do you guys think of this? Are you guys planning on signing this petition um, to get them removed from Star Wars? I will say this: I don't think this petition is going to do anything, but this could really start to affect the bots office for their star Wars movie. They needed to deliver on game of Thrones. I think to please star Wars fans to, to let star Wars fans know that star Wars is in good hands. So this is just another black eye for star Wars. This is another black eye for Benioff and Weiss. This is another huge black eye for Kathleen Kennedy. To me, she's skating on very, very thin ice with fans. To me, she's already fell through the ice. I have no confidence in her whatsoever. But this petition, do you plan on signing it? Do you agree with this petition and the words that are in it? Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on our next video. John Matrix, out.